on the tortoise. We're here, we're gonna get out, get this party started. I'm Lynn Dana, and this is my shop. Not only do we sell this product, but we live this life. You never know what we're going to be doing next or where we're going to be, but we're always having fun. I'm Brom Wilson. I produce this show. I try to get you all the great action shots without getting ran over. Together we are right into you. take you guys to one of the coolest, most popular places on our Las Vegas, Nevada. We started Ride It TV about six months ago because there was no shows about power sports and we thought you guys might want to tag along and have some fun with us. We're in Vegas, we're having fun, and we're going to go grab a Red Bull. One of my favorite parks that we've gone to all season long and it's close to home has got to be Soggy Bottom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that brings up a good point. One of my favorite scenes from this last season is when you rolled the rock crawler down there. you got to bring that up. It was like a zero mile an hour rollover and you have to remember that. Hey, make sure good it TV. Out. parts of Disney Oklahoma was when Lynn climbed the Panty Hill and then decided to climb the Panty Creek. We just climbed Panty Hill and the reason they call it Panty Hill is uh well Look around. <laughs> In the trees. Bras and underwear, and panties hanging everywhere. We're not sure how they got there. We're going to tell you that it probably started with, uh, we had a few beers, but uh, that's what they call this. Are we done? We're going to uh, we climb the panty hill, so let's see if we can climb the panty tree. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! 
Disney Oklahoma is a cool shoot. It was. The Panty Hill was quite a tree. I about turned it over on the tree. You did. That, that was kind of fun. One of the more fun shoots from that was when we went to Mill Creek. Yeah. Remember that? The guy out of the middle of nowhere shows up, wasn't staged, I and mean, he's like, you guys need to go climb Chimney Rock. I've never seen anybody do it. Not only we do, we do it, but Colton pulled it off. I've been riding on this trail for 10 years and I've never seen anybody go up the backside. We always go down and hit the dirt road, but these guys are fixing to go the dirt road and go up and I wish them luck because I've never seen anybody do it. Traffic on the strip here at Las Vegas is pretty crazy, but honestly, after being to Mud Nats, the traffic there with all the lights and the side by sides blows this away. It was a good time at Mud Nats. going down on the strip here kind of reminds me a little bit of our trip to Daytona Beach we were trying to make Key West for the sunset we might as well have made Key West for the sunrise it was like one o'clock in the morning before we got there but we did make Key West and uh, the hotel's still 50 miles away. It's gonna be a little upset. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no. <laughs> so, a little technical booking on rooms, but uh, so we got some I more quit. riding to do tonight. I quit, I'm going home. <laughs> well, anyways, I gotta go track down Brom. One thing I've come to expect when you're rolling with Lynn is you're gonna be late. And speaking of that, he almost made us miss our gator boat tour, but Captain John Smith got us loaded on the boat. We even got to see a couple of gators. Okay. He wanted us there before uh, dark because most of the gators go to sleep apparently. Yeah, you don't get to see the gators much at night. But we did find some. 
We did. It's a good trip, yeah. Brom says it's always my fault that we're late, but as you can see in this next clip, it's Brom's fault we're late this time. He almost made us miss the wedding. We're like going like mad trying to get there, and he pulls off the road for a tortoise. A tortoise. Luckily, we did make the wedding on time. I'm coming. Come on. <laughs> oh. Seconds away from making this wedding. I mean, we got the gas hammered. We're losing down the coast as hard as we can. Yeah, and then but we uh, kind of got distracted, didn't we? Had a squirrel moment. It wasn't a squirrel. It was a tortoise. Yeah. A, it was a really cool tortoise, so. though. Yeah, that thing was like cute. Hey, gotta take time in life for the little things. Brom said he didn't cheat on the Chadwick race, but I got to watch the footage afterwards, and he cheated the whole time. I won that race, clearly. already gone. There's a couple little split offs on the trail, but there's no way he made that time up. There's just no way. He's cheating. There's no way he could have got there that quick. One of the really cool places we went this summer was definitely Little Sahara. Yeah, that was one of my favorite parks. I mean, just dunes as far as you can see. And I won the downhill race on the little bikes. You did not. I, I did clearly too. won. I won. You paid me four bucks. Speaking of that, you still owe me a dollar. Because it's not settled yet. Oh, it's settled. Lynn doesn't even know the thunderstorm I'm bringing. Brom doesn't know it yet, but I shut his fuel off. <laughs> Here we are, standing on top of the tallest dune in Little Sahara State Park. Let's get this over with. Let's get this over with. line Laramie gives us a go I hit the gas and it just dies yeah what'd you do you sabotaged me didn't you I knew it I won that race you sabotaged me you didn't turn your fuel on no, no. The race was to the bottom of the hill. Where is the bottom of the hill, though? Did you draw At a line? At the bottom. The bottom. There it goes down, and then it starts to go up. 
It's pretty clearly drawn. You have this line of Mavericks. That was the finish line to me. That was the audience. Do you want to race into the grandstands? Come on! Go! Finish line! Let's go! Riding skills, <laughs> quickness to uh, dangers and reacting, <laughs> but all in all, just uh, pure skill. <laughs> Woo! If you're looking to play on the road or off the road or even in the water, Pitbull has you covered. We have a complete line of Can-Am side-by-sides and ATVs, as well as Can-Am spiders and all the parts and accessories. With industry-leading performance, Sea-Doo is the way to go when it comes to water sports. Come in today and see us at Pitbull Power Sports in Springfield, Missouri, 1332 North Glenstone. Come into Pitbull Power Sports. Live the life. MTA is not only one of the leading distributors, but it's your way to totally customize your ride and release the beast. Doesn't matter whether you're just looking for more horsepower, more suspension travel, or bigger wheels and tires, STI has got you covered. Whether you're out on the street, you're in the sand, or you're hitting the rocks in the mud, MTA has got our back. I'm Lynn Damoth with Pitbull Power Sports and Ride It TV. We trust MTA and STI with all of our off-road needs from the trails to the street. They've got us covered. Sahara was a lot of fun. It was. But I gotta bring it up. Since you brought up the spearfishing, Tiffany, she smoked you out there jumping. Dude, we agreed we were not gonna bring this up again. How, you jerk, how could you do that? He still ain't over it. Poor guy. Sand. Brom just took over the Maverick and he's out there trying to crest some of the dunes and he's doing a pretty good job and then Tiffany shows up. Then Tiffany shows up. I'm Tiffany and I'm gonna go jump my Maverick for the first time. If I would have had one more try, I could have, uh, whatever. Right behind me is the MGM, another casino on the strip, pretty famous, pretty sure you guys. What? Apparently, you're not supposed to film inside the casinos. Well, everybody knows that. I didn't tell me. This reminds me of when you were at Lake of the Ozarks. Uh, you're not going to bring up the water control ceiling. Oh, what did you I'm do? Stuck in there. Okay. Just got done doing some awesome wakeboarding. I mean, just best stuff you've seen. And waiting to get back up and... Going straight for him. Somebody got us in trouble. I wasn't wearing my vest. I just gotten out of the boat. I was just gonna spot Brom for one or two laps. My vest was back in the boat. Joe wasn't real impressed. No, they weren't. But the good thing is, they were really good to work with, gave us some tips on water safety, and let us go with a warning. Yeah, and they told him they advised him to take up water skiing because he was bored and his thing. They did? serve that community service again? Uh, I think it's next weekend. Okay, Vegas is hopping tonight, but speaking of hopping, 
Colton this year like showed us all up. The little kid can drive from rock crawlers to his pitcher to the mud. He was all over Ride at TV this season. famous Las Vegas, Nevada. We just went to Eagle Riders Motorcycles. We're getting ready to pick up some bikes and go hit the strip. Ride It TV this year has been all over the nation. It is, and it's kind of sad that uh, season one is now over. But we got a season two coming up. We pretty, do. Pretty excited about that. I am, too. Lots more adventures for you guys this next season. We're going to be all over even more, doing more epic things, making sure you're out there with us riding. Riding TV season two. I'm ready. Let's do it.